1983, the sensory deprivation tank had become a little bit of a thing in Hollywood, mm. and you could go and rent a little time. We have one here. You have one here. But this is early days. Yeah. This is John Lilly days. Yeah. And out of nowhere, I decided to give my best friend at the time, Tree, some LSD. I said, let's take this LSD, go up to the apartment complex, and we're going to rent an hour in the tank, side by side. And he was like, okay, let's do it. So we took the LSD. We drove his car. We got in the tanks. I thought it was just going to be, ooh, trippy dippy. Forget it. I was... 10 billion miles away in outer space. <laughs> An astral plane experience. Yeah. Completely conscious, but no body. Just flying through the, the quiet vastness of space. It was almost more than we could handle. But those things are real. The elements combined. I, I don't do LSD anymore, but as a, as a young man, it made sense to me. The combination of the two things is what's really phenomenal because what Lily, he, he invented the sensory deprivation tank because he was trying to figure out a way to separate the mind from any of the physical input of the body. It works. It does work. Probably yeah. without LSD. Oh, it definitely does yeah. without LSD. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's one of the best ways to achieve a psychedelic state without any drugs. And also you can end it at any time. Just open the door. The door. And it's over. It's not like you have to come down from it. It just goes away. <laughs> I had to come down on that day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, bet. I had to get home. I bet you did. How'd you get home? <laughs> it was tough. It was tough. The roads were disappearing under the car. <laughs> you have a tank here in the in the office or? It's in the gym. Okay. Yeah, it's right next door. I'll show it to you. Okay. It's awesome. It's from Los Angeles. There's a place called the Float Lab. Yeah. It's in Venice. It's the premier okay. float destination Ooh. on Earth. My friend Crash runs it. It's incredible. And uh, Crash is a mad scientist, and he's developed a sensory deprivation tank that's, like, super advanced with, like, ozone filtration, and the water filtration is, like, it, he, he gets these systems that are from, like, commercial water filtration for, like, like people's drinking water yeah. and shit, and he, he has this whole process of and then it's a giant tank too it's mm. like a like a meat freezer size of this room no 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 it's like like from this from this okay back to there but it's like w w nice and wide where you could reach out you touch this side and touch that side so you sort of center yourself how about the water. just floating on water yeah pretty good it's amazing and there's a thousand pounds of epsom salts in there so it's you're very buoyant you just like body relax. temp body temp you don't feel degrees. it degrees you don't feel it it's incredible dark yeah pitch black yep yeah and you just you just blend it in nothingness and when the mind is detached from the physical sensations of the body your brain becomes supercharged and the way i always describe it is like if we were having this conversation there was someone next to us with a jackhammer it'd be super distracting mm. we'd be like let's get over there so mm -hmm. we can talk we can't hear but everything is input the sensory input of your butt touching this <laughs> chair right your your hands touching this desk the ear the the earphones on the microphone in front of your face the physical space the the you and i exchanging social cues and communicating with sound like all that stuff is input well in the sensory deprivation tank there's none mm -hmm. zero and then with the water being the same temperature as your skin it feels like you're flying that was my experience it's amazing on acid it must be insane i've never done it on acid i, I, I think it just you know exacerbated the whole aspect of what you're talking about where there's mm. no body yeah your your brain is free to go wherever it likes i loved it to me it was pretty monumental i don't think i would repeat it in under those circumstances <laughs> but I'm well happy if you did, did you'd want more time one hour is like beep time's up anthony time like, was oh. up time was up. what do you mean yeah. time's up i'm on jupiter